After a referral has been submitted to AZIP, the service coordinator may have the family fill out the ages and stages questionnaire if the child does not currently have an established condition. This questionnaire is a screening tool used to determine if the child should move on to the evaluation process. So today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the ages and stages questionnaire. Um, and so what we're trying to do with this questionnaire is um, we're going to ask you some questions regarding different areas of development. So we're going to look at five areas. We'll look at communication skills, we'll look at gross motor skills, fine motor skills, um, we'll look at social emotional skills, and then adaptive self-help self skills. So we're going to look at those and see um, Basically, this is just a, a screening tool. So we're just trying to see where he falls um, in relation to children his same age. Okay. And what happens is we, um, so based on the answers to these questions, we will determine what supports and services he may need. We look at three different areas. We look at the, if it's a significant delay, an area for monitoring or they seem to be age appropriate. And based on this, it just determines if we need to move further along in our process. So scheduling an evaluation would be the next step for the Arizona Early Intervention Program. Or it might be that we just need to provide you some additional resources and supports that are not the Arizona Early Intervention Program um, that could help him fall outside of this monitoring range and get back into the age appropriate range. Okay. When a child is referred to the Arizona Early Intervention Program, the service coordinator will complete the initial visit. And if the child doesn't have a diagnosed condition like Down syndrome or autism, the service coordinator will use the screening results to determine if the child is suspected of having a significant developmental delay. This may indicate the need to complete an evaluation to determine eligibility. A significant delay means that your child is not meeting 50% of the expected milestones for a child of their age. For example, a two-year-old who is not beginning to pull to stand up, a one-year-old who is not rolling over, or a two-and-a-half-year-old who isn't babbling. First, can I ask, what, uh, what concerns did you have? What led you to uh, make the referral to the Arizona Early Intervention Program? Um, I've just noticed that he's not reaching certain milestones um, socially, personally, um, and so I just had been talking to my pediatrician about that and just am a little concerned about that. Okay. When we look at the breakout of the scores on our um, assessment sheet, so he actually falls into some of these gray areas, which are those monitoring areas. Um, so he doesn't fall into these these black areas, which would be something that was a significant concern or significant monitoring. Um, but when we look at communication, so he's right on the cusp. Um, what are some concerns that you have that you think maybe kind of put him right on that cusp of he's in the monitoring range and not quite age appropriate yet? Um, like when he talks, we can understand him, but maybe other people around us aren't understanding what he's saying. So that's kind of concerning to me. Okay. Yeah. And that, you know what, that makes total sense that, that, that seems to coincide with why he might be in the monitoring range because, right, you're his mom, you're with him all the time, and so you know what he wants, but if I hear him, I may not understand right. what he's saying. Right. Um, when we look at, like I said, uh, gross motor, he's doing really well. His big movements, those seem to be going really well. Um, and even the um, problem-solving skills and personal social skills, even though you said that those were some concerns when you spoke with your pediatrician, um, he actually seems to be doing fairly well with those. Okay. When a screening does not indicate a potential significant delay, your service coordinator will review your rights and provide additional resources. Because the team is not proposing to evaluate the child, they must still review with the parent their rights under early intervention and provide them with prior written notice. We use this to be sure that you know your rights in the program and that early intervention services are voluntary. Anytime the team proposes to do something, like evaluate your child or provide services, or declines to do something like evaluate your child, they must provide prior written notice, which explains what they will or will not do and why. The team must have your signature to show that you fully understand your rights. Your service coordinator will also review with you the child and family rights in the Arizona Early Intervention Program. This includes the right to request an evaluation if you disagree with the team. 
Because the Ages and Stages questionnaire indicates that the child is not suspected of having a significant developmental delay in one or more of the five developmental domains, the team would not recommend an evaluation. However, the service coordinator can still support the family to address their child's healthy development, such as showing the family some activities they can do with their child. They may also provide a copy of the screening tool for the family so they can bring it to the doctor and seek a referral through their health plan. Your service coordinator is an important navigator in the process. They will work with you to identify additional resources to help assist your child to grow and develop.